get another what, sir? Tatty. Tatty. Tatiana. Start, fella! Tatiana. Yes, that's it. Yes. Tatiana. You didn't take them, did you? I'm looking for them, sir. Eight battery portable, fully transistorized Tatiana television sets stolen from Stebbing Shop in Long Balding High Street last week. Stolen? They were here ten minutes ago, sir. At least seven of them were. Stolen were they? What do you know about them, sir? It's going around the back. Don't try leaving this house. And I wish I could. Go oh, down. What do you want? The blasted policeman can see me. Yes, I know. How long have you been here? Uh, not, not long, have we, Matt? No, not long. Stillness and calm at the very center of your being. Still breathing. Get a person. Do, how unpleasant. Can he see us? I don't think so. No, that would have been too much. Oh, and just as I was beginning to feel quite cosmic. Were you? Yeah. Weren't you? Uh, no, not very. Who? Uh, he's a rude lout. Let's ignore him. Once your body anything it finds is strange. That is really most important, you know. Are you getting the idea? They're still watching it, I suppose. Someone's coming. Jeffrey! Jeffrey! Who's he? One of the thieves. And there's the other one. Blackguard. Jeffrey, we've got to get out of here. You're telling me. There's a copper in the place. This is Ronald. No, you listen to me. I was out there guarding the window like you told me. Oh, it's a van turns up. What? Yeah, and then this policeman appears from nowhere. He don't see me, but he sees the van and he tries to stop it. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> for this to happen. Now then, sir, if you don't mind, I'd like your assistance in a small matter. What about that van, sir? The one that drove up just now. He's lost his marbles. You're right, Jeffrey, he has. Now, where have you hidden them? You mean that tattoo watch your name? Haven't the vengeance idea. What's more, I don't want them. Wish I'd never said eyes on the confounded things. Ah, so you have seen them. Of course I've seen them. They've been here for days. What are you doing? It's my own business. Are you all right? No, I'm not. No, look, try to stay calm, sir. <laughs> if you must know, I am trying to vanish. Oh, I think you better sit down, sir. I don't want to sit down. All right, all right. It was just an idea. But I'd stop trying to vanish if I were you, sir. Damn it, man. Don't you understand? I'm an emanation. You said you were a general. Oh, no. A shade, a spirit, a spectre. Uh, oh. Ah, no, don't try to make a fool out of me, sir, because you can't. Now, where did you put them tellies? By Balaclava. I am the ghost of Sir George Uproar. I've been dead for 80 years. You don't know, but you're a medium. I'm a policeman, sir. Mm -hmm. You can see me, hear me. I'd have to be stone deaf not to, sir. I wish you'd stop doing that, sir. You've seen things before, haven't you? Come on, now, you have, haven't you? No. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Just accept the fact that you're different. No, I'm not. Not different at all. Just imagination. That's that's what me mammy used to say. Ah, go on, you've seen something. Nothing, I've seen nothing. It's just between us. Well, 
tell I... I used to think I seen this old fella on top of me wardrobe. Go on. And there... There was this nun once in the in the cellar of the Admiral Nelson, but... Yes. Look, why am I telling you all this? You see this old elder sitting on top of your wardrobe, and you see this miserable man in a pub, and yet you refuse to believe in me! Now, just a minute, sir. All right. Over there are the two fellows that stole the thing of me, Bobs. You think I'm going to fall for that, sir? Very well. Follow me. So what? He's cuckoo. There they are. What the... Who are you? I'm Napoleon. He's Henry V. Rubbish. No, I can't take two more. They're as bad as you are. Uh, who's he? He's the ghost of Sir George Uproar. Now listen to me, you three lunatics. It's no use trying to pull the wool over my eyes. You're all coming down to the station. I refuse. You're coming. Is he being difficult? You heard what he said. Yes. Now, where are the television sets? Uh, what television sets? You know, don't you? I don't. Of course you do. Of course he does. Go on, you tell him where you put them. Well? You're the biggest idiot it's been by misfortune to encounter. These are the culprits arrest. As far as I'm concerned, you three jokers are all in this together. Hey, Gordon, man, they can't even see me. Oh, don't start that. All right, all right. Ask them. Go on, ask them. Can you see him? Of course. Well, that was so well. Where am I? You see the can't even hear me. Oh, what's up? Where is he? <gasps> well, he's there. Isn't he, Ronald? Yes, he's there. You see? Look, don't play games with me. He's there, and you know it. I don't know it, you nigger You three are trying to drive me round the bend. Right, now, but... you shut up. Yeah, shut up. And stop pretending you can't see him. Can we go now? I'm sure you've got a lot of questions to ask him. Oh, I've got a lot of questions I'd like to ask all three of you. And I've got a question I'd like to ask you. You ever heard the shortest ghost story ever told? Now, these two fellows in a railway compartment, you see. Do you believe in ghosts as one? No, says the other, and vanishes. I'm sorry. Pardon? You heard it before. Now, quick. <laughs> He did. He did. Why can't see us? He only picked up Sir George's vibrations, I suppose. Thank you, Sir George.